Hey, it's Nathan with CrazyOnMarketing.com. In this video, we're gonna go over the various campaign settings in the Facebook or Meta Ads Manager. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the easiest way to go into the details here is to come into the campaigns area within the Ads Manager. And we're gonna go ahead and create a brand new campaign. And we're gonna go through all these different options together and I'll try and explain things along the way. The first option we have right here is buying type and auction is the default and the one that is most used and the one that I've only ever used. The other one we have is reservation and you can see that it automatically narrows down your campaign objectives if you switch the reservation to awareness and engagement. So these are the only two types of campaigns that actually use the reservation buying type. And if you're wondering what reservation means, you can come down here and click on learn more about campaign objectives. And we can go ahead and search reservation and we can see what a reservation is. And basically a reservation gives you the ability to plan and reserve awareness and engagement campaigns with a fixed cost per impression or CPM and prediction on delivery outcomes and reservation. So you know what you'll pay before you book your campaign. And so basically instead of bidding when your ads will show up, you're paying a set rate for a set number of impressions and they're only able to be used on these two campaign objectives. So it's not, they're not widely used, but if you're trying to run an awareness or an engagement campaign, maybe check it out, but we'll stick with auction for right now. So you can see right here, there's different campaign objectives, awareness, and you can hover over it. And it gives you a description over here on the right hand side of what it's good for. So it's good for reach, brand awareness, video views, store location awareness, and so we can come over here. And if you're wondering what reach means, you could just hover over it. So reach the maximum number of people who may be interested in your brand. And you can click on learn more and it'll update the help section over here with details on what reach means or what brand awareness means. So if you're wondering what all these mean, you could go ahead and just hover over it and read the help section over here. And we're about to go through all these campaign objectives in this video, so you'll hear some more details right now. So straight up, the best advice that I can give you is to not try and trick Facebook. Do not try and get creative or clever and try and target like traffic when what you really want are sales. Or don't try and target engagement when really what you want are leads. Literally tell Facebook exactly what you want because that's what it's going to work on getting you. And if you're trying to be cute and creative and try and get cheaper leads by using an engagement or an awareness objective, well, I promise you it's not going to end well. If you want leads, tell Facebook, I want leads. And that's like the single biggest piece of advice I could give you because I've seen so many people try and outsmart Facebook and it never works. So just tell Facebook what you want. If you want traffic, select traffic. If you want leads, select leads. If you want sales, select sales. All right, let's go ahead and go through these different campaign objectives and I'll address different settings along the way. So we'll start with awareness here and we'll go ahead and click on continue. And now we have our campaign settings. So of course you wanna go ahead and name your campaign and then you have special ad categories. So this is if you're doing ads for credit or employment or housing or social issues. And so if you're doing anything like that, make sure you don't lie to Facebook. If you're advertising for a job, select employment. If you're advertising for housing, select housing. Again, don't try and trick Facebook. So I'm not advertising for any specific categories. Then we have campaign details right here. And as you can see, if you hover over something, you can go ahead and edit it. So if you had auction and you wanna to switch to reservation, you could go ahead and do that here. Alternatively, if you realize you had the wrong campaign objective, you could just click on edit here and go ahead and switch between the different campaign objectives if you need to. So I'll actually come back here in just a minute when we switch over to traffic. But coming on down here, we have A-B tests and I'll have a whole, and I'll have a whole other video on A-B tests or split testing because it's definitely a topic of its own. And then we have advantage campaign budget. And this is essentially the same thing as campaign budget optimization, which you may have heard of previously. But what this will do is it'll automatically look at your different ad sets that you have running and it'll send money to the ad sets that are giving you the best results. So it'll automatically optimize your campaign by selecting the top performing ad set. So you may or may not want this depending on what you're trying to accomplish. And I'll have another video on all this advantage stuff that Facebook has recently released. But let's come to the ad set level because there's different options depending on the campaign objective that you have. So again, we have awareness selected right here and we can see right here our performance goal. So right here we have maximized reach of ads we could go ahead and change this and you can change it to what might be most important to you. So we have maximum number of impressions. And what that means is we'll try to show your ads to people as many times as possible versus maximize reach for ads where we'll try to show your ads to as many people as possible. And then we have maximize ad recall lift. So we'll try to show your ads to people who are likely to remember seeing them. And then there's also video view goals as well. So if you're running a video ad or an ad with a video in it, you can maximize for through play views or maximize for 
for two second continuous video views. And you can read the different descriptions to see which one is most relevant to you and what you're trying to accomplish. Again, the number one piece of advice here is don't try and be cute or smarter than Facebook. Tell them exactly what you want and that's what Facebook will strive to deliver for you. And for awareness, typically I'll choose maximize reach of ads or for video views, I'd maximize through play views as I believe those options provide the most amount of awareness. And I'm gonna come back to the campaign level and we'll switch to another objective. So up next we have traffic and it says that some of my settings may change. So I'll go ahead and click continue and we'll come back to the ad set level. And so now we have some other options right here. So we have different conversion locations. And so choose where you want to drive traffic. And so the first option we have right here is website. So if you want to send traffic to your website, you'd select that. And you can see right here we have performance goal. So we have maximum number of clicks. And that means that somebody is going to click on your ad. Now, whether your website loads or not is a different story. So let's go ahead and open this up right quick. And we can see we also have the option for maximized number of landing page views. So this means that somebody would have to click on your ad, go to your page, and the page would have to load, and that would trigger the page view event, assuming that you have your pixel installed in your website, which you should before you run any ads. And so if you're using traffic as a goal, I recommend doing landing page views versus number of clicks, because I actually want people to land on my page and view it, more so than just click on my ad and then not actually wait for my page to load. So this would be a better option in my opinion. And so this is what I would typically optimize for. But there are other goals, goals as well, like maximum daily unique reach, maximize number of conversations, which has to do with the messenger or maximize number of impressions. So a few different options. Again, this would be the one I would use for traffic to my website. Up next, there's app. And so if you're sending traffic to an app, then you would go ahead and select this option. And the performance goals will update to reflect this option right here. So we have apps, so we have maximize number of clicks, so similar to the website. And then we have maximum daily unique reach, which states we'll try to show your ads to people up to once per day. And to me, maximized number of clicks would be the best option for an app. Messaging apps, we have a different set of performance goals right here. So we can open this up. So maximize number of link clicks and we have other goals. So maximum da daily reach, maximum number of conversations. So I would go ahead and select this option for a messaging app. I don't want people just clicking to send a message. I want them to actually engage in a conversation. So this is the option I would select for messaging apps, Instagram profile. And the only option we have right here is maximize number of Instagram profile visits. And that's all we have for that. And then we have calls. So maximize number of calls. And that's the only option we have for performance goal at this time. So let's come back to the campaign level and go to the next campaign objective, which is engagement here. And we'll go ahead and continue. And we'll go back to our ad set now. So now we have our conversion location. So choose where you want to drive engagement. And as you can see, we have different options right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it on my ad for right now. And then we have engagement type. So depending on the type of ad that you have, you could look for engagement type on video views or post engagement or event responses or reminder set. So let's leave it on video views first. And then we have performance goal. So maximize through, through play views, which is what I would select because I think it's better than maximize two second continuous video views. Let's come back up to engagement type. We have post engagement right here. And you can see there's different options now for performance goal. So we can maximize engagement with a post. And so with this option, they'll try to show your ads to people most likely to like, share, or comment on your post. So if you want engagement on a post, that's a good one to choose. And there's maximum daily unique reach or maximum number of impressions. So I would choose maximum engagement with a post as that sounds most like what I want, right? We're not trying to trick Facebook or be cute with it. Up next, we have event responses. So maximize number of event responses, maximize engagement with the post. And if I'm optimizing for event responses, you know, I probably want to select that option. Coming on down, we have other goals like daily unique reach or maximize number of impressions. Again, maximize the number of event responses. Makes sense if we want event responses. So self-explanatory there. And reminder set, so the only performance goal we have to choose from is maximize reminder set. Let's come all the way back to the top here. So. I'm not gonna go through all these different options as I think you get the idea of how it all flows, but let's go ahead and click on website real quick. So we could go ahead and maximize number of conversions. And for this, they'll try and show ads to the people most likely to take specific actions on your website. And then there's other goals again. So number of landing page views, link clicks, unique reach, et cetera. So similar to what we've seen previously, but we go with maximize number of conversions, 
Then you select your pixel here. So we have the SEM training pixel that we'd go ahead and use. And then we select our conversion event. And you can see there's only a few we can choose from. So contact, so this would be that they like fill out a contact form in order to trigger the contact standard event or view content, like they're viewing a blog post or something, some sort of significant piece of content that we have the view content event firing off on. And then there's other engagement based standard events like add to wish list, customize product, donate, find location, and so on. So these are the different conversions you could go ahead and track and optimize for when using an engagement objective on your campaign so i just wanted to point all that out real quick we'll click out of here and look at conversion location there's also a facebook page right here so if you're trying to get facebook page likes you could go ahead and select this option right here and then facebook would automatically optimize your campaign or your ad set in order to get likes on your facebook page and i think that's enough for the engagement objectives again there's you know messaging apps or calls or app that you could go ahead and select if those are relevant to what you're trying to achieve Let's come back up here and change our campaign objective to leads here. So now we're getting into like the business stuff where we make our money. So leads is where we can make some money. Let's come over here. And so there's a bunch of different options here. So we have website. So generating leads through a website. So people will click on your ad, go to your website, opt into your squeeze page and are now a lead. They would want to go ahead and select website there. And then we have our performance goal. So maximize number of conversions. You know, that's probably the best option, but let's see what other goals they have. So maximize number of landing page views, link clicks, unique reach, impressions. Yep, we want conversion. So we would go ahead and select that option. We'd make sure that our pixel is selected here. And then we'd go ahead and select our event that we want to go ahead and track. So we have a lead event right here. And now our campaign and ad set would be optimizing for lead conversions on our website. So there's that. You can also see that on the lead option, we have instant forms here. So you could use Facebook's instant form feature in order to generate leads directly within Facebook. And I'll have another video on instant forms, but you could go ahead and select that conversion objective. And then you can see the performance goal again, maximize number of leads or maximize number of conversion leads. And you can read the different descriptions below them to see which one's more relevant to you. But both of these are pretty good options, honestly. Coming back up, same concept with Messenger. So if you wanna generate leads through Messenger, you'd select this option right here. You can select your page, maximize number of leads, instant forms and Messenger. So a, com a combined attack where you're driving leads and you're getting people to engage with you on Messenger. There's that option right there. Or Instagram, generate leads by starting chats on Instagram. And you have your performance goal to maximize number of leads and so on. So pretty self-explanatory stuff. And I'm sure at this point in the video, you're understanding how it all works together. So let's come back to the campaign and we have app promotion as well. So if you're trying to promote your app, there's a few different settings you can select here. So you need to select your mobile app store. So maybe Google Play or App Store. And then you go ahead and enter your app name or the exact store URL. And then you could maximize for number of link clicks or app events or app installs. And more than likely, you probably want like app installs or if you have events embedded in your app, you'd go ahead and select that and you could optimize for that. So maybe you have a free app and you want to optimize for people to spend money within your free app, then you could maximize for number of app events where they're spending money. And so that's something you could go ahead and do with this campaign objective. Let's come back out to the last one right here, which is sales. And this is where we spend a lot of our time is trying to generate sales. So we'll come to the ad set now. And you can see that this option right here popped up as well. So if you have a catalog connected to your Meta Business Manager, you could go ahead and flip this on and then you could use your catalog in generating your ads. And so that might be something that you wanna go ahead and do, but it goes a little beyond the scope of this video. So we're gonna go ahead and go down to the ad set and look at what options we have right here. So we have website and shop. So we'll automatically send people where we think they're most likely to purchase from. So your website or your shop on Facebook or Instagram. So if you have a shop on Facebook or Instagram and you wanna compare it to your website, you could go ahead and select this option right here. We have website then, so drive sales and conversions on your website. We have app, website and app messaging apps. And again, we have different performance goals depending on what you select up here. So we have maximized number of conversions, which is probably what we want to go ahead and do. There's also the maximized value of conversion. So depending how your pixel and tracking is set up, if you're sending back the values of purchases people are making, you could go ahead and optimize for people that are going to spend the most amount of money on your website or within your Facebook or Instagram store. So that could be a very powerful option. And I'm not going to click through all of these options because I think you get the idea at this point so if you had messaging apps you could go ahead and select your your pixel and your conversion event 
And if you have people buying stuff through your messenger configuration, you could go ahead and select whatever events are relevant, like a purchase event right here. And so I think that covers all the campaign objectives and all of the different conversion locations and conversion events you could go ahead and optimize for. Again, the number one rule is select what actually makes sense and what you want to accomplish. Don't try and trick Facebook. You're not going to. Tell them what you want and Facebook will do its best to deliver those results. And that's it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate your likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazyartmarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.